The topic that I want to talk about here is, are you sabotaging your dreams? And what I mean by this is, do you trust and believe in things that you've never experienced before, but you have a belief in them that they could be true, and if you just actually moved in the direction confidently of that dream, whatever it is, you know, moving to a place, creating a relationship that you could possibly dream of, um, accomplishing anything in your life, quite frankly, do you believe that it's possible? And then, of course, understanding that if you don't, well, then you've already solidified the inevitable reality, which is whatever you dream of, if you don't believe that it's possible, you will be right. And I want to give you an example because I was thinking about, um, as I was driving away here, I was like, I want to go live here again. I want to talk about something. But what should I talk about? And then I looked over. This is right across the street from our, our house. And look at this. Bananas. Just a big old pile of bananas here and this banana tree right here looked like it was dying about a month ago as well as that one and that one and that one and that one and look at they're not actually that big and because i haven't seen bananas here yet i had no idea like how big do these banana trees need to be in order to actually grow actual bananas and i looked over and i was like holy shit there's bananas on that tree and there's like 50 of them right now that banana tree doesn't have to even consider whether or not it's going to create bananas. It's a banana tree, right? But I can easily look at that and think, oh geez, I don't know if that's actually gonna produce any bananas. It looks like it's dead. And ultimately, maybe it's a bad analogy, but um, you know, I'm just trying to hammer home this thought that if you are already telling yourself that you will never live a certain life, you will never have a certain relationship, you will never make a certain amount of money, you will never, whatever, experience certain things in your life, well then you're already stopping yourself from actually creating that thing. And I see this all the time. And it's usually with people that are in a very challenging time in their life. And that's when this is most important. And this is where some of the, the work has come in for me in the last year. And I used to think that this stuff was just like, whatever, man, you know, you can't have affirmations that ultimately then create something different in your life. Like all of this manifesting BS and like that stuff's all woo woo, right? But geez, you know, like the, the more you start actually leaning into this and you realize that like our thoughts are not our reality, but the way that we talk to ourselves and the way that we think actually do make up our, how we, how we show up on a daily basis and it impacts the decisions that we make when we go to the fridge and we decide between water or beer, or we know that if we go out to that, that networking event, that we might meet that person that could be the unlock for us getting from where we are to where we want to be. But if we don't do it because of a thought that like, oh, networking sucks, I don't want to go to that networking event, and so nothing ever good comes out of it, well, then you've already stopped yourself from potentially meeting that person, whether it's for a business opportunity or even your future life partner. Who knows what it is? But yeah, the whole thought is, is like, if you have dreams, one, write them down. Write down what that vision is. This is one of the things that we're gonna be doing in the inner circle with all the guys that we have that are joining us. And there's nine of them right now, and Mike and myself. And this is our first cohort that we're doing on this. We're gonna end up having other guys that'll join us in the future, but this will be the first group. And, you know, most of these guys are like, high achieving in many areas of life, including business and finances and relationships and family and all that kind of stuff. And they all have their areas that they're wanting to either get better in areas where they're already good, or maybe they're struggling in certain areas and they want to continue to elevate. But the common theme for everybody is that they all want to get more clear on their vision and what they're trying to create in their life. And that's the dreams, right? That's the, if you could do anything and create anything in your life, what would that look like? And then let's start breaking down. If that's a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, a 15-year plan, what do you need to start doing today that moves you confidently in that direction? Knowing that it might not ever pan out to be exactly what you think it is, because this is how it works. You have to ultimately surrender to whatever shows up in front of you. But 
If you don't move in that direction and believe that it's possible, then you are absolutely correct. So why not believe in these dreams and actually take focused, committed action in that direction? It's extremely powerful. I've seen it come true in my life many, many times, and I'm excited to witness it with all of these guys, these powerful men that are coming to the table to be better versions of themselves every single moment, every single day, um, to live their best life and to go and create some incredible things together as a group. So that's what I got. Hopefully my banana analogy landed. I'm not sure I actually explained it so that it was like relevant to the topic, but either way, still pretty cool that we've got these bananas right across from us. Now we gotta see how long do we gotta wait until they actually get to the point where they're ripened up enough that we can even eat them. And can I even pick them off that tree? Like I don't even know whose bananas they are. I think they're just community bananas. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted. Have a good day. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of The Trevor Turnbull Show. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider subscribing on my YouTube channel, as well as on your favorite podcast platform. So until next time, remember, today is a beautiful day of opportunity. Trust that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. So be grateful, be curious, and be brave. Yes.